My name is Meredith Greenberg, and I'm the cantor at Temple near Tamid. And it's my pleasure to share a few reflections on this week's Torah portion, Parshat Bishalach. In it is the iconic moment where the Israelites move into their freedom and cross through the Yam Suf. And we sing the Shirat Hayam. And you may know that in this moment of Torah, we depart from our typical cantillation. It's the only time in all of Torah in which this happens, where we take on instead, weave through what's called a musical detour. The first time we hear it is at the end of verse 1. Moses says, I will sing, and the Israelites repeat after him. And then in verse 2, we have a moment I want to reflect on more deeply. Again, we visit the melody, this special melodic pattern. The first part of this verse, is known to many of us. It's often translated as Adonai, or God, or mystery, is my strength and my song. But something else happens if we divide these two ideas up for a moment and let them stand alone and see where they might organically interface. The first moment, Ozi, is about my strength. This is my strength and Vizimratya, God's song. And so I'm thinking for myself today as I prepare for Shabbat, where are the places in my life where I feel a great sense of strength and where do I know where I lack strength? I'm thinking about times where I'm trying to get physically stronger, more stamina, and what I do to strengthen myself. I lift weights, I do cardio, I, I know how to handle places in which in the physical world I want to get stronger. It gets a little harder when I'm trying to have a conversation with someone, let's say, who really needs me to be strong. My children, my spouse, a friend, someone that I'm doing a pastoral visit with, people that I'm in the world with that are looking to me to be in my strength with them, for them, to accompany them. Where do I find my strength in those moments? And where do I find my strength when I'm with someone who's really suffering? Like my children. How can I not hold on to their suffering and make it my own, but find a way to be with them and really hear and listen to them and with them? How can that kind of strength be found from inside of me? And when I get to those moments in which I just don't know the answer, in which I'm not sure how I will be strong if I feel their pain, if, like Torah teaches us, we should have savlanut, the willingness to be empathic and bear the discomfort of being in the world with other people in their pain and in our own. That, that, my friends, is the moment where we get to hear the Zimratia, God's song. I mean, we don't know how God would sound if God was singing, except when we are in that moment and we ask God to accompany us in our lives. What would happen if, instead of looking toward the world for outside influence, for strength, instead we could drop inside and we could begin to rely upon that song singing through us? What would it mean if we walked in the world creating harmony with God, singing a duet even? with God. Maybe that is precisely why the Israelites sing in that moment of great freedom, of knowing that they couldn't have done it alone, that they hear and that they listen to the music of God's voice singing through them in the world. May it be God, mystery in the universe, may it be your will that this Shabbat we hear you singing through us. Shabbat Shalom.